Welcome back to my channel. Today we're here at Swing Dance. We're going to be going over some of the beta with Kate, who is going to flash it today, right? Of course. Of course. I'm going to be walking her through the beta that I used, which requires a heel and a throw to the final move. And then after that, we're just kind of going with the flow of today and seeing what we hit next. Okay. We're at Heiko Shuffle. This is a V1. We're going to hop on to just warm up before we hit Swing Dance. as I remembered. Is that it? I don't know, that's really hard. No shot. Felt like I could at least pull off. I think the other side than I expect. Oh my gosh, I felt it. Okay, crash pad. <gasps> no! I'm sorry. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> do I have to do it again? Oh man. I thought I did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. That felt awesome though. Heck yeah. Come on! That scraped up my ankle. 
Swing Dance is arguably one of the most popular climbs at Tramway, and also my first outdoor V7. There are two ways to do the climb. The new school beta is likely the one you'll see videos and pictures of because the finish on it is very eye-catching. On the other hand, the old school beta is a little bit less flashy, but a challenge in and of itself. After a shoulder dislocation early last year, I was searching for a different beta that I could use that wouldn't place as much pressure on my shoulders. And I did what anyone in my generation would do if we stumbled across a problem. I went on YouTube. The earliest records of beta videos from Swing Dance actually date back to 15 years ago, so it's really cool that the history of this climb and the beta for it has been unintentionally preserved and recorded through YouTube. I'll be walking you all through the old school beta for Swing Dance. You're gonna start at these t two jug rails, this jug rail. I prefer to keep my feet a little bit farther, but some people prefer the feet here and here. But you're gonna go out left to a crimp, go under with a right hand to another crimp, afterwards you're going to make a move to this left crimp. I prefer to bump out to the last crimp. This line is basically all crimp. You're going to bring a right hand closer to probably the worst crimp on this line. And then the final move is gonna be a right hand throw to a jug. If you catch it lower, it's also juggy, but the higher you catch it, I feel like personally it's easier higher up versus lower down so your body doesn't swing out. There are two places where you can place your heel. One of them I've only been able to stick once. It's a little bit finicky, um, my friend Claire actually showed me a different heel on here that I think is a little bit better. Okay, so option one is going to be the worst heel. I, I don't recommend it, but I think it's still worth showing you all. You see where it looks like a backward C? When I was doing my first two sessions on swing dance, I would place my heel at this backward C, but then I would always dry fire off. The better place to place the heel besides that backward C is going to be on this crimp that you actually place your your hands. You have a little bit of a blocker hold at the top that, that blocks the heel a little bit, but I find that this heel placement is a, more secure and more consistent than this other heel. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath from square dance. still hard. Okay, but yes, that's ideally the move and we'll see if I can repeat it today. <sighs> Ow. My camera just died, so now we're using my phone and this $20 Amazon mic. This was Kate's first session on swing dance and she did a pretty freaking amazing job. We'll be coming back this coming weekend so that she can continue working on it. So we're all at Grease Fire right now and Carson and Dom are going to give it a try. I think Kate and I are holding out for Crouching Tiger but the climb looks super sick right now and I think Carson is going to hop on and give it a go. Right here? Okay, I see it. I'm not quite there though. I'm like, I'm like there. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward down here. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it feels like the pads are gonna slide like at any moment.
Within our last hour of daylight, we all hopped on Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, which has some cool technical movement. Nice. Even though the climb has good feet and is relatively low to the ground, we weren't really expecting for the fall to be so sketchy and we'll need to come back with more than just two crash pads. With the angle of the wall and how secure the nice. heel hook feels, it makes you feel like you're going to fall flat on your back and get with the bash. Okay. So we're coming back this next weekend to close this boulder out.